Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It is still Christmas-ish, winter, holiday time, whatever. It's cold outside, except I put my torch away. I'm freezing. On the last episode, well, we made some new stuff over here, and I can't do anything with them because I don't have the materials, but we need to take care of business. I asked you for names. You gave me names. I submitted them to a random name picker, and we have Thranduil. Continuing on with Lord of the Rings sort of fun there, I believe. Unfortunately, much as I would like to go hop on the Elven King there, it's just not going to happen right now. You know, just not going to happen. Not high enough level to get a saddle. As a matter of fact, what level are we these days? Level 25. That's not going to be high enough level to get that, is it? Bummer. Man, so many things still yet to do. Now, I did install an additional mod, so you will find... Uh, no, I want this one. Sorry. Let's do that. I want Flint. You will find I do have another mod in the list that is in the description. We'll play with that a little bit later on in this episode, but for right now I need to get some Flint because I'm going to need to repair my axe or make a new one. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Look at that. Got another level. That's good. That'll be level 26. Come on. I can't seem to hit it. There we go. I, was, I, I caught sight of what was going on over here. I saw another Mega and I thought, ooh... That would be fun. You are a 112. Holy cow. Well, that might be all the more reason to mess around with the mod that I added. We'll have to see how that one works out. I'm not sure that I have the necessary stuff to even make all that, but uh, we could take a look at it in just a little while. For right now, I'm just going to continue on. Hello, cat. Hello. She says hello. Continue on running down the island here and just kind of take a look at what we have going on on this part of the island. Probably shouldn't be doing this because there's going to be dangerous stuff over here, potentially. And if that's the case, then I have death and dismemberment to look forward to because I didn't bother bringing anyone with me, either Strike or Thranduil. So, oh well. I just wanted to run up to this one just to confirm that, yes, I can't open it because I'm not high enough level. I knew that was the case. I just... Wanted to confirm. Bummer. Let's take a look at the map here. So, Hut is marked on there, and that's me over there. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to go grab a bird or two. I mean, really, these guys could be killed fairly easily-ish with a bow, I think. All I need to do is get them to chase me, and then we're pretty much good to go. So, let's go annoy a bird, if we can. Just because they're potentially going to be carrying... Oh, crap. Stuff I want. What is that over there? What was that red thing? You saw it, right? I'm not... I'm not making things up here. What was that? I don't know what that was. That worries me a touch. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot the bird. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. Uh, come on, bird. Oh, come on. Load the arrow. Why don't you want to load the arrow? Take that. Headshot. Spin around. Nope. I'm going to get hit. I dang it. There we go. My... Oh, crud. Yes. I, I was hoping that it would land in the water such that I would have to go chase everything down. We'll just take all that junk. Why not? And I guess I might as well harvest it, get some additional hides and some raw meat. Ooh, look at that. Got some prime meat. I suppose if we can find... Ah, crud. I knew that was going to happen. All right. I need to get some water. Air. Water. You know what I mean. Water. Air. Water. Air. Water. Water. Air. I need to get some water. Air. If we can find a compi, I can tame a compi now. Well, one anyway, presumably. Assuming I'm able to knock it out, which I don't know that I can because I don't have any trank arrows on me, do I? Nope. So it'd be all about the slingshot. Which I literally just picked up off of that guy. So here, we'll take that. Why not? Uh, level. We need a level. Look at that. 120% speed. Level 36 isn't really going to be worth anything. So let's go ahead and head back. And we can go play with the new mod that I added. And that's assuming that I don't die on my way back. I heard something. What did I hear? Oh, I heard you. Oh, good. Here. Let's, uh, let's kill you then. That way I can get some more experience because... That's not a bad thing. Good. 
Let's go ahead and chop you up then too. I'm gonna have so much meat. This is good stuff. Liking it. All right, coming back to the hut here. I had to kill a scorpion on the way back, so I ended up getting another level, which is handy dandy if I don't mind saying so myself. I was just checking to see how much spark powder is still burning in there. So it is cold, of course. Okay, so we need to take care of a few things. So let's go ahead and take care of another level up. And I don't know what I want to do with this one. Guess uh, let's get up health a little bit and then... So level 27, that's not really going to get me much on its own. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in here that I could potentially learn if I were so inclined. I'm not, so I'm not going to worry about all of them. We are going to go down here. There are a few things that we could take a look at. I'm not entirely sure what this... Um, where are you? I know I saw it. I don't know what the new smithy does. It says you can create certain advanced forge items and poison them. So we'll learn that just for kick. It only consumes one Engram point. I'm not going to worry about taking the poison spear one. And then if we go down here, we can get the specialized mortar and pestle. And then we can get the improved narcotic. So this is the concentrated narcotic. And then we can get the metabolic accelerator and then the improved trank arrow. So we're going to take all of these items right here and let's just take a look at what it's going to take to craft one of them. So let's go with Mort. So I'm going to need a standard mortar and pestle and to do that I'm going to need some more stones. So let's go run around and grab some stones right quick. Hey, open up. Actually, you know what? I think I have some in here. Never mind. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I have a bunch of them inside. So let's go back to Mort. We're going to craft that. And then this is going to allow us to create the specialized mortar and pestle. So we'll go ahead and create that specialized one. And in the meantime, I can go ahead and... Uh, I guess I don't really have anything. I can drop that in there. That'll, that'll be fine. I can put some more spoiled meat in there, I guess. Come on, catch up with me, game. And then where is our regular mortar and pestle? So it's in this corner over here. I loaded it up with a bunch of berries apparently. I'm waiting for all this meat to spoil so maybe I should just go ahead and spread some more of it out that way it'll all spoil. That'll be good. I can use a bunch of that then we can create some narcotics. That'll be good. So that's our regular one. Let's go ahead and grab this specialized improved one somewhere down here. Man, I kind of feel like I need to add another room to this place just because the way I built it was just kind of goofy. I mean, I totally get that. It's not... None of this makes sense, but... Ah, I don't know. Whatever. I guess this will this will work. Let's go ahead and put it a little further away just so I don't accidentally click on it. We'll go right there. So this is the improved mortar and pestle, the specialized one. So to create some metabolic accelerator, we're going to need narcotic stimulant. I don't have any citronols, so I can't worry about that right now. But I could, theoretically, a narco berry and three narcotics to create the improved concentrated narcotic. So why don't we go ahead and uh, let's grab, let's just grab some of those and we'll just grab a few of these guys. That'll be about enough for right now. And we're just going to load this up with narco berries and narcotics. And then we can go ahead and craft 11 concentrated narcotics. And then that's going to allow me to create some improved trank arrows. And I think those are going to be pretty helpful because they're going to do more torpor damage. So they're going to be better when it comes to needing to, uh, you know, knock things out, basically. Let's go ahead and put the raw meat that I do have in here, or the spoiled meat, rather. And we'll just go ahead and make some more narcotics right now. I'm still waiting for the stuff I'm carrying to spoil, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and blast some more health and level 30 is getting pretty close we're not quite there yet we're going to grab oh these do take a while to create don't they well that's okay that's not a big deal i don't mind that they shouldn't be immediate i don't think let's go ahead and grab one more narcotic that way we can get an even dozen 
of these guys. And let's see, let's go ahead and dump you in there. We'll create one more of that guy. There we go, a bunch of my meat spoiled, so I can go ahead and throw that in here. Let's do some more narcotics. That'll give me 33 more. That's pretty good. Oh, Raptor Claws has arrived. We should really check that out just to see if we can spot him anywhere and see if he's going to be leaving a drop somewhere. I don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, you never know, right? But I'm, I'm not really seeing anything right now. I would like to go check that supply crate out. So let's go ahead and do that. We can let all the narcotic stuff work while it's just kind of going on in there. This isn't too far to run. I don't know that I'm going to be able to find any Raptor Claws stuff. I'm not really in a place where I can track him down quickly. I mean, there is an obelisk right there. Yes, absolutely. I think that's an obelisk anyway. But um, I'm not really in a spot where I can do anything about that. Bo! Oh, look at that. My stuff spoiled. Perfect timing to spoil. Let's repair that guy. I would like to have a functional bow. That might be necessary to defend myself. Go and grab that again. Nice and cold outside. Still got some level ups I need to apply. Man, that's crazy. Alright, don't go away. Don't vanish yet. Okay, good. You're not going to vanish just yet. Dinosaur gate. Sure, why not? That's actually a pretty useful one. Ish. I'm just listening for a moment here. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I heard something. Yes, there's another obelisk. And I'm really not close to them, honestly. I I'm really not. Oh, look at that. We could, uh... Could get another trike. I think that one was stuck there last time, actually. Oh, look at your limbs. They're all... Tweaked. Uh, I'm gonna free you because um, I feel bad that you're you're stuck in a tree. There you go. Be free. Roam the countryside. Yeah, I I don't see any raptor claws drops that are. Oh, oh no, that's uh, that's where I died when I had to kill a scorpion. I didn't tell you that part. Yeah, I died. That that's why that's there. But I didn't. I didn't. You know feel the need at the time to tell you that, but I did. Whatever. Anyway, let's head back. What are you? You are another Mega. You're level 76. Could take you down. Probably wouldn't be that difficult to do right now. It's too bad I can't make some metabolic accelerator. That would be really handy. That'd make it nice to be able to speed up a tame, but that's okay. We can, we can worry about that a little further down the road. Let's pull the torch out just to be able to see again. So I have a bunch of narcotics. I put some chitin in there. I don't have uh, cementing paste learned just yet. Let's go ahead and learn that guy. Level 29. We're getting really close. And then let's just grab these improved concentrated narcotics. Let's go to craft and we'll do arrow. And what do these take? I need regular arrows. And then I need the concentrated narcotics. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We're going to make 12 of these guys. Okay, so I'll take that. And then we'll go back to here. We're going to do arrow. So we'll do 12 standard arrows. And that's going to open up the pathway to these guys. That'll be nice. The improved ones are going to do about five times the torpor damage, if what I have read is correct. So that's not bad. That's a pretty significant jump. I'm I'm definitely on board with that. Alrighty. We go back to the inventory here in just a moment. I want to drop the remainder of these stones off. I don't want to carry all of them. I mean, I know it's only a few, but I also want to drop some of the splint off. I don't need to make a bunch of spark powder just yet. And if we take just a quick look here, so I have 12 of these guys. That's going to be pretty good. Um... <laughs> Uh, bye, Raptor Claws. I, I wish you would have left me something that I could have used. That's okay. Oh, look at that. I should take all that out of there, huh? Here, let's put you in here, because that seems like a good place to store all of it. All right, last thing we are going to do is apply a level. We are now level 30. Let's see what opens up at level 30, because honestly, I don't remember. Looks like we have a bunch of railings. Dodicarus, Saddle, Paraser. Uh, Stego. Metal Sickle, that could be good. 
sword. That is definitely good. There's a Megalocero saddle. Boom. We are absolutely going to learn that. And uh, I don't remember what I need to craft that, but I'm sure I need more stuff than I actually have. So we'll take a look here. Saddles. Mega saddle. I need five ingots. I don't have anywhere close to five ingots. I only have two because I'm not near metal. And that's just the way things have gone thus far. So... We're going to call it an episode right here. I'm going to pick up some stones because I can. And in the next one, we're going to need to make a saddle for Thranduil. And that's going to actually help us out quite a bit because that's going to open up a significant portion of the map compared to what we've been dealing with thus far. So if you enjoyed this one, do me a favor, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't leave a thumbs down, leave me your comments, your feedback, your impressions, all that sort of good stuff. I enjoy that. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. You'll get videos as soon as they're posted. And I will catch you on another one. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.